What up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and drain the coolant. We're gonna go pull out the radiator and the old clutch fan or the, the clutch fan and then we're gonna replace those. Um, but before that, I need to go Home Depot and buy a little tub thing. So yeah, I need to go get that real quick. So I went to Home Depot to grab a tub and a bottle of Simple Green because we're gonna go ahead and clean the engine bay before we pull off the head but today we're gonna go and we're gonna take out the front bumper we're gonna drain the coolant and then we're gonna go and bang out some stuff so I can mount the um, the true focus fab front bash bar we're gonna pull out the old radiator the OEM radiator pull out the fan shroud the clutch fan and then um try to install everything today we'll see how much we get done check it out I got a slice display frame on eBay oh yeah so like any other fluids on a car, there's gonna be a drain plug on the radiator. This one is, oh shoot, where'd it go? Okay. <laughs> this one is located on the, the uh, driver's side of the radiator, which is here. I'm just gonna open up that cap and then let the coolant flow. Okay, so you see how I open the cap and it's not flowing as much? You gotta open up the radiator cap. Then you'll see this baby flow. I'll show you guys what we're going to be installing, what kind of radiator we got, and what kind of fans we're putting on. So I had to remove a portion of the cold pipe from the intercooler to the throttle body because it's in the way of the upper radiator hose and we'll be replacing this also as well but um we're not gonna put it on because head's gonna come off later in another video so we're just gonna go ahead and rip the rest of the, all of this apart <laughs>
all right so i removed fan shroud the stock clutch fan the uh, stock ac electric fan now we have a lot more room uh once you remove the stock clutch fan because it's a uh, bolted down to the water pump you're going to need to reboot you need to put the bolts back or the nuts back on so that way the water pump probably has something to hold on to i had to uh, remove the power steering belt because it's tied to it and um it's having a little bit of a hard time taking off the clutch fan or the clutch itself but um yeah we're gonna take out finish taking off this this uh little radiator hose and then we'll pull out the radiator and then for me it's a while back i don't know if you can see it right about here that's one of the mounting points for the original front um crash bar or front bumper support which got bent in from one of my accidents way back and i need to go hammer that out once i pull out the radiator so that we have space to do that All right, so here's my old radiator. Radiator. <laughs> um, so you can see, there's a difference between standard and automatic uh, radiators in some cars, some vehicles. You can tell by this little thing. So this actually runs to the automatic transmission. It is a transmission cooler. A lot of the new cars now these days have external or a separate transmission cooler, and that's how you can tell. So if you do have an automatic like for example an automatic 240 please don't buy a standard um transmission radiator because now your transmission lines have nothing to go to unless you do buy a uh, external transmission cooler radiator is out i'm gonna go and bang on the that mounting point which is right here i need to go flatten that out so i can put the front bash bar and we're gonna go do the bash bar after that Three days later. Awesome! 